Also tonight, taking back the community by starting the conversation. That's what community leaders are trying to do in an effort to stop the shooting. A serious conversation happening as the city goes through transition within the Portsmouth Police Department. In just Portsmouth alone, so far this year, there have been 107 shootings in the city. And here's where it hits home. That's just one less than the entire 2021 calendar year. And the latest shooting in the city happened nearly 24 hours ago in the London Oaks neighborhood. 29 year old Robert Parker was killed. Another man seriously hurt. Ten on your sides, Michelle Wolf was at tonight's meeting and has more on the ideas brought up to stop the violence. Michelle? Lena and Tom, there's a lot of factors contributing to violent crime in the city. Portsmouth pays its law enforcement the least amount of money out of all the seven cities. In some cases, $16,000 less a year. People who witness something are worried about giving information for fear of retaliation. And it was said tonight that even our officers are afraid. Staffing shortages, mental health and a broken relationship between citizens and the city all contributing to crime in Portsmouth. Looking over your shoulder here is not a way to live your life. Virginia Attorney General and Hampton Roads native Jason Miara stressed the importance of community policing, keeping violent offenders off the streets and mentorship for youth. In Thursday's town hall, Miara spoke of his plan to bring the Virginia Rules Program to the city, which matches teens with members of law enforcement to be a positive influence in their lives. Everyone has to get involved. Please stop looking for the next person to do it. Interim Chief Stephen Jenkins, 48 hours into the new role, plans to reach out to other agencies in the 757 to share officers on days where the department is especially short staffed and to repay the favor when other cities ask for help. Don't tell me that we as law enforcement don't care. Nobody joins this profession to get rich. Portsmouth Sheriff Michael Moore revealed his growing need for good deputies as many have left their jobs to go to other cities where they could be making 50000 a year starting out compared to Portsmouth's $34,000 a year. We have to have a government that have a daily conversation. Chief Jenkins wants to continue moving forward with some of the initiatives put in place by his predecessors, but also is working on a plan to incorporate new ideas. I've stood over too many black children, young boys, girls, and had to go and tell their families, their mothers, their fathers that they were not coming home. When asked about the chaos surrounding his recent upgrade to interim chief. I am more concerned about my officers and the citizens of this city and making it safe. Uh, anything else, I have uh, to try to block out as much noise as possible, put my head down, go to work and do my job. Now interim chief Jenkins is expected to come out with his detailed plan to fight crime and violence in the coming weeks. In the Wavy Newsroom, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side. Michelle, thank you. And a reminder, if you know anything about the Portsmouth double shooting or any violent crime, you can call the crime line. The number is or the P3 tips app.